keep moving. It is a struggle. Never will life be a walk in the park. It is always difficult. It is a great war. But remember to keep moving. These are the words of one of my friends, Luis from Cape Verde. The man who keeps moving. The man who keeps walking with me. The man who keeps hope burning. That is a friend to have in life. We face different situations in life. Others bad, others good. We feel demoralized sometimes, but sometimes we are encouraged from what we encounter on our way in this life. We are hurt sometimes to an extent of not forgetting, but as optimists, sometimes we assume and move on. Yes, we need to assume and live like nothing happened. Despite the fact that we are in search of happiness, we cannot avoid pain in life. Keep growing, knowing very well that life, pain is part of life. Pain is part of our growing. And pain is that happiness. We may frown because we lack this or that in life. We may cry because we are, in, we are not in possession of something. It is normal to do that, but as we do it, we should be knowing that one day it will be gone. Nothing is permanent in life except eternal life. You know, as I know, that everything in life is temporal. Things are temporarily with us. It is slavery. It is not just. It is not good. It is not fair. It is not. It is not. That is how we say always in recitation of litany of lamentations, always crying foul, blaming and rebuking. No one wants to accept, but to change, we must move on, we must carry on, we must just accept and move to the next level. Worrying and lamenting changes nothing with and in our lives. You must have been hurt just like I was hurt. You might have been made bitter. You might have been provoked in life. You might have been kicked hard. You must have been humiliated. You might have been rejected. You might have been bullied. You might have been denied justice. You might have been, you might have been. Your history might be black. You might not even want to remember the past that is full of scars. Scars you would not like to see or touch again. Your past might be frustrating itself, but it represents something big. It is a big deal in life. Do not despise your past. Do not dislike your past. Do not ignore your past. Your past molds you into something good. The scars remain precious. Your scars are symbols of your strength. Life is a struggle, as Luis will tell me sometime. Life is a journey of ups and downs. Life is a challenge. Life is death. Life is difficult. But every struggle counts. Every action in life counts. Every passage in life is a step forward in life. Even death is a step to something else. Every struggle is part of life. Do not abandon your end struggle. Do not neglect any struggle in life. Do not stay there without struggling. Do not sleep and expect miracles. Struggle. Sacrifice yourself. Sacrifice that comfortable soul now. Sacrifice your bed. Remember, Poverty is manufactured in bed. You cannot sleep like you are competing the dead in cemeteries and expect to make it in the land of the living. Every little struggle is a step forward. People perceive us differently. They see us they, as they choose to see us. You cannot force people to see you the way you want them to see. You can only 
convince them that you are not the image they perceived sometimes. But we understand we are all different. People might see you correctly and sometimes they might they may be off. But also others are just blind. They cannot see anything good from you. Anyway, nothing good can come from Galilee. Jesus was despised because of his village of residence, just because he was the son of that woman, Mary, the son of Joseph the carpenter. He was himself a carpenter. He was rejected and later on betrayed. They humiliated him by condemning him to death. They let him die on the wooden cross, the cross of humiliation. And he accepted that death, even death on that old ragged wooden cross. Remember, he accepted. In all this, do not give up and forget about yourself. Do not enter into this trap of other people's negativity. Their negativity in attitude is, in, is not your problem. Be yourself, be happy. Just as Misael, my brother from Bukvar again, will tell me, let not the eyes of people change you. You are the change, you can be what you want to be. The eyes of the people can see something negative and they can demoralize you, but keep focused. Let not the eyes of the people change you. That is Misael saying those words. Everybody was created for a purpose. God did not just create you for the sake of creating. It will be wasted of time perhaps. God had and has a purpose for every one of us here on earth. Your purpose is valid and no man can make it invalid. Even through the Holy Spirit, no man has this power to do away with the purpose of another person. I was once told in a secondary school by a disciplinary committee that my life, my future was in the hands of that disciplinary committee. And when I said no, because I knew that it was only God who knew my destiny, they went ahead to make me understand what they thought I had not understood. I was shown the gate, and since then, I have never even visited that lovely school. I was expelled from that school of my heart, my passion. But later on, I will be picked by another man or men of another school. Threats are all over in life. People are threatened. People threaten others. The weak suffer in the hands of the strong. The poor suffers in the disposal of the rich. But to, to seal this, no one can stop you. And if there is one who can stop you, then that person is you yourself. A man will only delay you or postpone your purpose or success, but at the end you will reach your destination. What is meant to be will finally be. Finally, keep going, never stop, never doubt, and even if you are in doubting, keep moving in that doubt. You have to keep moving. Quoting the big man, Martin Luther King, I will echo him by saying the exact words as he said them. This is the most important thing and crucial period of your life. For what you do now and what you decide now at this age, may well determine which way your life shall be. And the question is whether you have a proper, a solid and a, a, a sound blueprint. And I want to suggest some of the things that should be in your life's blueprint. Number one in your life's blueprint should be a deep belief in your own dignity, your own worth and your own somebodyness. Do not allow anybody to make you feel that you are a nobody. Always feel that you count. Always feel that you have worth. And always feel that your life has ultimate significance. Secondly, you must have a basic principle, the determination to achieve excellence in your various fields of endeavor. You are going to be deciding as the days and the years unfold what you will do in life, what your life's work will be. Once you discover, you discover what it will be, 
set out to do it and do do it well be a bush if you cannot be a tree if you cannot be a highway just be a trail if you cannot be the sun just be a star for it's not by size that you win or you fail be the best of whatever you are to conclude there must be a commitment to the eternal principles of beauty love and justice well life for none of us has been a crystal stair but we must keep moving we must keep going if you cannot fly run if you cannot run walk if you cannot walk crawl but by all means keep moving keep moving keep going i can ask you my brother yeah. subscribe to yeah. my youtube yeah. channel to be following and finding all these good things as we go we keep on sharing about life thank you very much god bless you love you all